All right, to everyone experiencing piriformis pain that sometimes can go down the leg and act like sciatica, we're going to give you uh, symptoms, self-treatment, plus information how to completely understand how you can solve this problem long term. Hold on just a... Uh, Nine, Nine seconds. Point seconds. Nine point seconds. 9.3, yeah. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, first of all, we need to know the anatomy of the piriformis muscle. And if you look from the back side, it's going to actually connect underneath the sacrum. And then it comes out, and this... Pink tape actually represents where it is. It's a pretty good uh, representation of it, actually. It goes over and connects to the, the hip, the hip, the greater trochanter that's just outside the ball of the hip. Okay, now if you look, you're going to see this yellow. This represents the sciatic nerve. Now, if this muscle tightens up too tight, it can put pressure on that sciatic nerve. Not only does it cause pain here from the muscle being contracted and over tightened, but it can put pressure on the nerve and give symptoms all the way down to the foot and into the toes. So it's called fake sciatica. Right. Sometimes. Exactly right. So it's usually sciatica coming from the back. Right. In this case, similar symptoms Comes lower. coming from this area. So the whole goal is to relax this muscle, take the pressure off the sciatic nerve, as well as the pain of the tight muscle just being relaxed and uh, relieved. Okay, we're first going to cover some soft tissue work and some stretches that can oftentimes help relax that muscle and work well. Uh, Bob is in what we call the 90-90 position, right. lying on his back. You can do this in the living room with a chair. Uh, we just have a stool here, use a stool or a chair. And oftentimes, ottoman, an ottoman. Right. oftentimes this will offer relief right away and you'll feel that muscle relax. The next thing you can do, now so actually let's talk about an option if you don't have that or simply go in what we call hook line position. Now let's say Bob has his piriformis on his right sides tight. He's gonna grab his right knee and pull it up and over across to his opposite shoulder. That stretches, you will feel this. If you had a tight piriformis, you will feel it right there in the buttocks. What you can do, if that's a tight one, put that down and to test it, do the other leg. Every time I had someone with a piriformis problem. Me too. And you have them compare one yep. side to the other, they say, oh, is oh, there a big a difference? Big difference. Yep. Right. Uh, so then you're going to work on that. Sometimes a stretch will be enough to eliminate that tight muscle. Sometimes it's so tight we need to work a little bit harder. Okay, the next stretch that can work really well. This is for uh, someone who's pretty mobile. Uh, it can be a little challenging, but if, if you're mobile and you know, more athletic, it works really well. Although, we can both do it. Right, and we're, we're old. old. Yeah, so you go in this position and then bring this foot across. This is the way I do it, and I just simply reach here, and I reach here, and it's the pigeon pose. I'm really not, this is a, a yoga stretch, and I'm not, sh you know, yoga sure people. Sure wise, pigeon. <laughs> yeah, and, and yoga people would say, eh, there's a couple things you're doing wrong, but right. I definitely feel that piriformis being stretched right there. I'm fairly tight with this stretch. I just start working on it in the last few months. But again, do this side, say if that was my tight one, and then do the other side, and you will... And actually, my right side is tighter. It is. Yeah. See that? Boy, that's a big difference. Wow. I don't have piriformis syndrome, but obviously my right hip in piriformis is it's tighter. Tight. So that's why I'm working on it at home. So work with that. You're going to hold it for, you know, 10 up to 30 seconds. If you feel that muscle relax and just melt away and the pain go away, you know you're right on. If not, we've got another option. Okay, now we're going to go into some options for some soft tissue work. We're going to get into that muscle and relax it through being a little more aggressive. We can start out with a tennis ball. I'm going to go down on the floor, put the tennis ball here. Right there is where that piriformis is. And you'll find out when you start rolling on it, I'm supporting my weight through my arms and my feet so I'm not getting too aggressive. And you'll find... When you hit the, the tight spot, it's going to bite a little bit. Right. But it, if it feels like, oh, it hurts so good, and then you t get off of it and it feels better, you continue to work right. it. If it hurts 
and you stop. Especially if it hurts down the leg. Yes, exactly. You don't want it to hurt so bad that it makes pain down the right. leg. That's a bad thing. If it recreates the pain. Right, exactly. So use it gently to start out with and see how it responds. You may spend a minute or two with that. If you have a foam roller, these can work very nicely as well. They're not as aggressive as the tennis ball. Um, and then you're just gonna work on it here and back and forth and work around it oftentimes works better and then get onto that tight spot of the piriformis uh, and see if that soft tissue, if you wanna get even more aggressive and you happen to have a massage gun, they can work well with the round head. Uh, there's oftentimes five heads. All of our massage guns have five heads. The round one, and you can do it in a seated position like Bob is working here. If you wanna do it lying on your side with one leg up like this, you know, that can work as well. You know, it's one of those things that whatever works best for you. Oh, I'm right on it there, Bob. Boy, I'd like to get a little more aggressive so with that, So this is the EM-19. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it's only available at select Walmarts. Right. Well, the link below. Yep. Very good. We're going to go on. We also have another exercise that is even, actually, I think this next one is really, really quite cool. the deal. Okay. This is a real nice alternative. Uh, works best, you could do it on your bed. A carpeted floor is probably preferable. Just lie on your stomach like this. Now, if this, the left buttock is a piriformis that's tight, we're gonna go into this position. Okay, we call it roadkill. Don't ask me why, it's really not important, but right. this is a position you get into. And you are kind of move around in such a way, and if you feel that pain in that piriformis decrease, then you kind of wiggle around or noodle until you find it's where it's the most. Find the right spot. Yep, it's got to be the most comfortable uh, position you're in. And once you find it, sometimes the knee's up, sometimes it's down a little bit. If the pain drops down to like zero or a one. Uh, then you're going to hit the timer uh, on your cell phone or whatever because you want to go 90 seconds in a very relaxed uh, position and without any uh, people bothering you, so you can just right. relax and breathe at least 90 seconds, up to a minute and up to 120 seconds. Up uh, to is, two minutes. It is specific like that. Oh, that would be two minutes? Yeah, yeah. Right. very good. Uh, so at that point, you're gonna slowly go back after the 90 to 120 seconds, and you're not gonna get up and run around or do any aggressive activity. You can do a little massage with it afterwards, not real aggressive, uh, and then you're just gonna go for a walk. And can that be done daily, Brad? Yep, and then if you have good results with it, you can do it you know, two or three times a day, but what will happen, it will get better every day and sure. you'll just forget about the, your piriformis. It seems you, simple, but it works. Yeah, and you gotta be careful, you gotta be specific, as I was mentioning. So, all these options. Now, there's one thing, Bob, about piriformis syndrome. Right. We, we saw that it could be fake sciatica. Right. If you do these, or some of them work, but only temporarily, and you go sit down after a little while and they come back, it's probably fake sciatica. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> well, you do these for, it goes away for a half hour, and then you go sit. Right. And you're probably slouched. Oh, it, I see. It's real sciatic. Yeah. Then it, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Right. The piriformis is fake, but gotcha. you have sciatica from gotcha. the low back. In that case, you can try this exercise. Can you just slide over, Bob, and do some press-ups like this? we got a whole program yeah. on. Do 10 of those, and if that happens to make it feel better, then you know it's... It's from the back. Right, or if it makes yeah. it worse. Huh? We're jumping into the weeds a little bit here, but I thought we would, would go there. Uh, so good luck with your piriformis syndrome. Uh, chances are you're going to find something that drops it down to a zero pain, and you'll feel better, and you'll be grateful, Bob. I think they yeah, will be grateful. Yeah, they will. Thank you. Wow. I'm done. <laughs> i got to take a break.